had no idea. It's all good. It's just, uh, I was back there at some point. But yeah, it's one of those pet peeve things like people leaving the bathroom light on or not closing the bathroom door too. Like I just try to keep all the doors closed because I think it's more presentable. Not like a critical fucking. Well, here we go. Or no, I'll keep it going. Cool. Thanks, man. See, look at that. You don't need your phone. Yeah, I do. For the music. Yeah, I do. Yeah, because MGK fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mainly like country, but some music like this I can listen to. I listen to tons of music like this. I just don't like Machine Gun Kelly. I think he sucks. Damn it. All right, hold real still. You don't mind me recording this, do you? No, nope, you're good. I get a better view of it on this side. I want to post this up on Facebook and tag y'all in it. Oh, thank you. To get the word out to tell people to come here. We appreciate that very, very much. Fuck, I thought that was my sister. You gotta turn it on. So loud. And then go back in and do it. It's that one right there.
<laughs> oh lord. I'm caught. <laughs> yep. My too sister late. did a damn group message and went to every fucking body, including him. I was like, huh? He's like, what? I said, huh? I was like, shit. How is it? I love it. Is it painful? No. It feels weird, don't it? But yeah, when you see my brother, if he when he comes in here to get his done, all of his tattoos that he had done, either a buddy of his did them, or no, the one he done them. The one we're getting done is gonna be professionally done. I don't give a damn what you say. Good for you. A lot less likely to have to have it redone professionally. I ain't going to get your face in it because I don't know if you don't... I don't it. give a shit, man. I'm about to be famous one day. <laughs> That's the guy that does the tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Nate. I do tattoos and I'm goofy as fuck. If you're hey, not here adorable. to have a good time... Don't come. Yeah, pretty much. He does tattoos and piercings. Scar people for life for a living. I tell you, I sleep really good at night. What does that one tattoo over your eyes say? It says Foot Soldier and Elder Futhark. Technically, it says Foob Soldat. Oh. Because I am a foot soldier. I've been a lot of places and worked really, really hard to get where I'm at. What is he saying? Huh? He ain't mad. Who is that? It's a little late for anybody to get mad about anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna nah. be mad. You should have done it about two hours ago. No, he ain't gonna get mad. He has tattoos of his own. Sorry. Okay. Mom, my mom, she's the only one that does not have a tattoo. I was trying to convince her to get one. Well, after she sees how awesome these ones are, maybe she will be convinced. I double dog dare, but she wouldn't do it. <laughs> she's a scary cat. Well, double dog dare, that's some serious business. I'll be rich. <laughs> He's saying, I bet you 500 bucks you won't get it done. And how rich you'll be. Is that one painful? Mm. It is, and you just don't want to. No, say I'm anything. being dead fucking serious. What? She's not twitched or complained not once. I believe her. 
That shit don't hurt. It don't hurt. I just tick. I'm just ticklish. I'm I ain't clenched. I ain't twerked. <laughs> I'm just ticklish on my forearm. A lot of people have like such like. My ex had a um, machine gun, but he didn't have the piece that goes to it. He just had that and the needles. Well, thank God. Thank God he didn't have anything else. These things are not toys and they do not belong in the hands of amateurs. I've been working in shops for 14 years and I still didn't get a good handle on how to actually use a tattoo machine until I've been tattooing for almost six and I was in a shop all the time, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Being taught by a professional and I still didn't get good for a long time. I like to watch that um, show Ink Master. And I watch YouTube videos of tattoos and stuff. I was getting it through my head like, well, if they can sit there and go through their first tattoo, I think I can. Of course you can. You did. Mm-hmm. It's just leaking all over. Yeah, that's plasma, man, and that's totally normal, and it's fine. Right. It's your body trying to make scabs and the plastic is not going to let it, which is what we want. My ex-sister-in-law, he has tattoos of her own. Huh? Uh, okay, so yeah, technically, I mean, it's not super critical, but it's like shaving medical. You at yeah. least want to get two times the size of the, the, the piece, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's really just taking it down a little bit there. Yeah, it's cool, though. I mean, it's not like, it's just this one little bit, and it's not yeah. technically where I'm tattooing. So it's just catching ink on the white, but it's not like a big deal. Okay. But yeah, typically speaking, like... Two thirds of the area, or what have you. Yeah, for sure. Um, and even like, like earlier, dude, that lady that I did the owl on, she like was like hairless on her upper arm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Still, you shave that shit anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Because uh, opens up the. Uh, well, it uh, helps get. Well. Eh, not so much opening up the pores, but it helps get dirt and oil off the skin. You know what I mean? And dead skin cells and shit. So yeah. that's that's more what it's about. It might help open up some pores, but that's not like a critical be a side effect, not not be a, correct. Not that, be that's definitely a way to look. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. That's, and that's actually a great way to put it. <laughs> it might be a, a secondary effect of, of the doing, but definitely not the intentional. Right. Okay. And, uh, and I will I'll be this is the week that starts the Friday, Saturday. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Are you stoked or what? Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely ready for a change. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'll get some shit figured out. I think I'm probably going to get a dog. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This now Tyson's totally alone and he's going crazy. Yeah, that, I don't, I don't understand, dude. How is the dog and your cat left alone in the house? What do you mean? 
Like Dobby, the one that fucking chewed your cat up, right? Yeah. So why was it alone? Why why was it left on the I had I had no matter. I had no. No, no. Yeah. That's what I'm asking you though, because your uncle was checking on the house. Yeah, my great uncle was checking on the house, right? Right. So he was taking the dog over there. No, oh, no, oh. no, so my great uncle was checking. My uncle was also out of town. That's why my uncle's dog was at our house. Oh, my, my uncle, so your uncle, whose dog it was, wife, wasn't even around. No, no, we were all out of town okay. together at my dad's. Okay, so your great uncle was watching yeah. everything, left my, the dog alone in the house too long with the cat, and they well, fucking just did, did what animals do. Well, the, the thing is, is, I mean, not really too long. I wouldn't say that, like, no, the dog shouldn't have fucking been left there. And whenever he dropped the dog off, it was like, no one told me, and it was like five minutes before I had to leave to go up there, and I was already running like four hours late, you know what I mean? And so I like, I took off, there was no, uh, there was no way for me to argue about it, or like, get him out of there, you know? And honestly, it's like... But your, that cat was an indoor-only cat? Yeah. Okay. Um, now... Sorry, I'm a detail poor. No, for sure. <laughs> no, I no, hope I'm not poking at anything. And, and it's not my great uncle's fault. My great uncle was coming and letting the dogs out like regularly. He came there at nine o'clock. I a- got home at a.m. or p.m. p.m. He was there at nine o'clock p.m. The cat was still alive. He fed the cat, let the dogs out, let the dogs back in, left, and sometimes between nine p.m. in and a two-hour time period. So when you got home, yeah, that's when shit went. That's down. when shit went down. It's so and weird to me, dude. It is super fucking weird. But that that dog chases other cats and has tried to corner my cat before. I didn't fucking want him to my cat, but I didn't have a say in the matter. And he was supposed to stay at my cousin's house. But then last second, my uncle decided he didn't trust my cousin, so he took him to my house. You know what I mean? And I didn't have a say in the matter. And I didn't have, like, time to argue. You know what I mean? It wasn't like... Or put your cat somewhere else. No, exactly. And and so because you could have stuck the cat in your shed also, with a cat box and some food, and it would have survived. Exactly. It also, wouldn't have been fucking cool, but it would have survived. And also the cat. The thing is, is the cat could run into my grandparents' room through a little cat door and get away from the dog. So the thing is, is that like he just cornered her to where she could not get away. Like there was no way she could get away. Like because she was probably chilling in my bathroom because that's where she likes to chill. Probably How old was the cat? The cat was 14. Oh, but, but that... she's a Siamese. So they live a long time? Or they what? live a long time. Siamese can live to like 19 to like 25 years. You know? So it wasn't total grandma status, like it couldn't no, that could cat... not defend itself at all. No, it, but it had no medical issues. But here's the thing, our cat didn't have front claws, because it's, it's an indoor cat. It's an indoor cat entire life, you know what I mean? Right. So I like what he just said, only. Whitney. Exactly. Huh? And I like what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> There's About the nude beach. Yeah. I mean, I know exactly. Like, I know exactly what happened because I'm the one who found the dead cat and like cleaned it all up. You know what I mean? And like, I put two and two together, like what happened. But it super sucks, man. No, it does. And then also, like, my uncle and his wife are like trying to like act like it wasn't him. You know what I mean? And it's like if they try to pull that shit with me, I'm like, there's gonna be fucking problems. It's like, it's, well, it's oh, very obvious the dog that was raised with the cat didn't do it. There was no. only one other dog in the fucking building. No, and Tyson's just like depressed and moping and literally shit on the floor out of fear. Like, cause that's when I got home. He had just been let out at nine o'clock, but it was a big pile of like. So some serious chaos went on, and the and older dog that was raised with it, like... Tyson, and in the kitchen, like, way away from where this all went down, you know what I mean? Right. So, so he, he was hiding, he was freaking out. away from it, you know what I mean? Right. And also, my dog, Tyson, hates going outside. As soon as I got home, Jam. I opened the door and he bolted out of the door, you know what I mean? And was just like, what did leave my side? That's super shitty, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, it does suck, and I'm like, I'm fucking pissed about it, like... That was a good ass cat. And it also, like, yeah, if it was I'm, I'm about my age, cat life, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I was, totally understand. If it was that old age or anything like that, to me, what I'm really fucking upset about is just how it died, you know what I mean? Right, right. The fact that she was, like, so scared whenever she finally did. Oh, like, uh, you don't know. She might have gone down fucking swinging. She might not have been scared. <laughs> That'd have been like a Hail Mary. Well, it's either, either, well, the thing he's is, gonna is tell that, like, she's either died of a heart attack from, like, fear, or huh? her He's gonna tell you to get up for a little bit and walk around. Like, I'm fine. You know? that, that would make there wasn't sense. enough blood to make it blood no, loss? There, there wasn't enough blood to make it blood loss, but there was enough blood to know that she was injured, you know what I mean? Right. Um, and also, she was matted wet, right? 
And I thought it was because, like, you know... Like, chewed on. No, exactly, like, chewed on. And I thought it was, oh, maybe she's, like, all wet and matted because they, like, extreme fluids whenever they die. Nah. But I, when I picked her up, there was, like, nothing on the floor, you know what I mean? There was, like, no, a the dog was just chewing on her carcass. Exactly. That's fucked. Yep. And the, probably the only reason he didn't eat her is because... Somebody got home in time. Someone went and took him home, you know? Like, oh. Immediately, so... No, that's exactly it. That's, like, so gobby, just... Really she whined like a little bitch. You should have saw her no, face. No, I did. Do not listen to her. It just she tickled. She had to stop, and I've been doing this nonstop since we started. It was just ticklish. You lying like hell. Hello. Hey. <laughs> That's my mom. Hello, mom. How are you today? I'm good. I'm gonna kill me a sweet thing you old I kid. know. She told me. And then Jason caught me. My sister tagged 10 people into a group, right? With the message you sent me this morning. I was like, I'm busy getting a tattoo done. Jason texted, what? I was like, nothing. He goes, then where are you at? I was like, uh. You should have told him where we I were. I sent him a picture. It was like, uh. But he only thought that far. I gotta leave this on up for at least. Till tomorrow morning. 24 hours? Somewhere between 4 and 24 hours. You can leave it on till tomorrow morning is your safest bet for making it through the first night uh, without having any, anything happen to it. I'll be back in six months to get my other arm done. And then next year, me and Brittany's gonna come up here on the same day next year. She don't want to get it done in six months. <laughs> and we're gonna get the sisters done. And Rebel, right? Huh? But yeah. You want to get it done in Rebel? Man, man, when Jacob looked at me, I'm like, Jacob, can I ask you a question? Hold on, let me pause this. Why? What about I, you? I ain't crying. Yeah. Did you record yours? Yeah, I got it. It's he funny. got some of it, but not all of it's it. It's funny, though. You I, I, was like was I was like this. I was like this. Balling my fist up. He stretched the skin out. She had so. to keep stopping every five to ten minutes. Because I've been doing this nonstop. It don't feel... Like she experienced. Well, she's listening to music. That's why. No, I'm not. It's on pause. See, it's been on pause for the past twenty minutes. But yeah, go on the other side because you can get a better view. They try to talk me into this. Oh, yeah, you're oh, next. Oh. No. <laughs> Thank no. you. No. No. Mm -mm. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I do really good tattoos though. Nope. It don't hurt. No, that's okay. I... Well, I tried. Yeah, we tried. My husband wants to know how much would you charge him to It'll cover up a tattoo? Yeah, we already talked to him about it. He's got to come in for him to visually see it. Yeah, I, okay. can't, I can't quote stuff when I don't have no idea how big or where right. or what I'm covering how it with. That stuff down there for? Ten bucks. You got ten bucks? Nope, all the cash is at the house. What? We got to have antibacterial handles. That's important, but we don't sell that here. You get antibacterial soap at Walmart or CVS or whatever. It's like dollar two bucks store. for a bottle. Yeah, dollar store. As long as yeah. there's antibacterial on it, that's fine. Oh, okay. God. It doesn't have to be name brand or anything. And I cannot use like a wash rag. i got to use my hands. Um... Yeah, don't use a rag. Don't use a scrubber. Don't use a loofah. Don't use nothing that's going to be abrasive. And Short break. If you want to stretch out, you can. I'm just going to look at a couple roses real quick, so make sure I get the color scheme right, okay? Hi. You thought I was gonna get my done, huh? This is good. Now Brittany's bald right there. 